We're partnering with NEC today because um, we work a lot with them in the UK and, and certain parts of Europe as well. Um, we tend to provide a quality solution, so we work with quality partners like Scala and NEC. What we're showing on the stand today is a mixture of high bright screens from it to, to LED, uh, right through to interactive touch screens, uh, GIF and photo mirrors where you can take a photo um, of yourself and overlay um, certain elements. And then we're doing some big interactive video walls as well where you can fling content up and so people can show kind of what products we're showing off. So our solutions benefit a lot of retailers so they can engage with their clients and get the brand across. We do a lot with user-generated content where people can upload, um, their, take photos in store and upload them onto large screens. Um, and it just allows brands to engage with their clients um, and, and customers better. It's great to see brands really starting to roll this, this hardware and software out now and it's not just seeing it in flagship stores. So NEC is a broadline manufacturer of all kinds of core display technologies, but ultimately we need uh, integrator partners to bring their third-party solutions into the mix to bring a solution to life. And In Your Face Media is one of those. Uh, so this is a joint commitment to show off some retail solutions you know, uh, at this particular event. So for the retailer side of things, uh, having, a, having a manufacturer like NEC that first of all can help them internationally because invariably a lot of them have franchises or their own shops abroad as well, so there's product continuity, whilst having the vast range both within the technologies and a range of technologies as well mean that they can have scalable rollouts which are easy to sort of uh, easy to fulfil but also allows for the weird and wonderful things that crop up invariably. Uh, from the shopper's side of things, uh, that investment by the retailer then allows them to have continuity of their brand experience when they go into the stores, be it a small grade two listed building in, say, Winchester, compared to a big out of town one that's a new purpose built design. So it, it offers the retailer the ability to have a mixture of tier one investments for key flagships, where they might put an LED solution in, but also tier two stuff for brand continuity in the uh, maybe the more regional locations that don't have such a budget behind them.